Welcome back, my friends, to Big Bill Anderson's Life Tours. Again, I'm here at Los Angeles National Cemetery, paying my respects to a veteran that fought for the United States in the Mexican Wars back in the 1830s. But he also has the proud distinction of being the father of some notable historic Western figures. And I'm here at the grave of Nicholas Earp, the father of Wyatt Earp, James Earp, Newton Earp, Virgil Earp, Morgan Earp, and he had some daughters also. So I wanted to pay my respects to Mr. Earp here, thank him for his contribution to the United States, fighting for our country. He also fought in the Civil War in the 1860s. He's quite a man. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about his life. Stay with me, my friends, and thank you to all my new subscribers for Big Bill Anderson's Life Tours. It's very much appreciated. Thank you. Nicholas Porter Earp was born in Lincoln County, North Carolina on September 6, 1813 to Walter Earp and Martha Ann Early. The Earp family was of English and Scottish Irish descent. The first Earp immigrant to the American colonies was Thomas Earp Jr. who arrived in America on July 6, 1674 from Ireland. He is buried in St. Anne's Parish in Annapolis, Maryland. When his mother Martha died at age 90, Martha Earp had eight living children, 85 grandchildren, 130 great-grandchildren, and 13 great-great-grandchildren. Soon after his birth, Nicholas and his family moved from Virginia to Hartford, Kentucky in 1813, where Nicholas spent the rest of his childhood. As a young man, Nicholas served in the Black Hawk War in 1831 and later was a sergeant in the Mexican-American War. During the Mexican-American War, Nicholas served under Captain Wyatt Barry Stapp of the Illinois Mounted Volunteers. In December of 1847, Nicholas was a 33-year-old Dragoon sergeant when he was kicked by a mule and seriously injured. He returned to his Monmouth, Illinois home and his pregnant wife, Jenny. Four months later, he named his newborn son, Wyatt Barry Stapp Earp, after his company's captain, whom he admired and respected. In March of 1849, Nicholas Earp joined about 100 others from Monmouth County, Illinois, for a trip to California, where he planned to look for good farmland, not gold. Along the way, their daughter Martha became ill and died. Nicholas changed plans and moved to Pella, Iowa. Their new farm in Pella consisted of 160 acres. Eight years later, on March 4, 1856, Nicholas sold his Pella, Iowa farm and the family returned to Monmouth, Illinois, where he was elected as the town constable, which he served as for about three years. In 1859, he was tried and convicted of bootlegging. Nicholas was unable to pay the court-imposed fines following his trial, and a lien was levied against the Earp property. On November 11, 1859, the property was sold at auction. Two days later, the Earps left Monmouth and returned to Pella, Iowa. During the Civil War, Nicholas served in Pella, Iowa as a United States Provost Marshal for recruitment. After the American Civil War, Newton Earp, James Earp, and Virgil Earp joined the Union Army on November 11, 1861. While his father was busy recruiting, Wyatt, along with his two younger brothers, Morgan and Warren, were left in charge of tending the 80-acre corn crop. Only 13 years old, Wyatt was too young to enlist, but he tried on several occasions to run away and join the Army. Each time his father found him and brought him home. James Earp was severely wounded in Frederickstown, Missouri and returned home in the summer of 1863. Newton and Virgil fought several battles in the East before returning home. On May 12, 1864, Nicholas Earp was hired to lead a wagon train to California. 
The Earps took the children, Wyatt, James, Morgan, Warren, and Adelia with them. The group arrived in San Bernardino, California on December 17, 1864. Nicholas rented a farm on the banks of the Santa Ana River near present-day Redlands, California. In the spring of 1868, Nicholas, Jenny, Morgan, Warren, and Adelia moved to Lamar, Missouri, where Nicholas became the local constable. By November 17, 1869, Nicholas resigned to become Justice of the Peace. Wyatt, who had followed them to Missouri, was immediately appointed constable in place of his father. Sometime prior to 1880, Nicholas and Virginia Earp moved back to California, settling in San Bernardino County. Nicholas was also one of the founders of the San Bernardino Society of California Pioneers. After Virginia's death on January 14, 1893 in San Bernardino, 80-year-old Nicholas married Annie Elizabeth Cadd on October 14 of the same year. She died in 1931 and is buried near Virginia and Nellie Earp, wife of James Earp. Nicholas Earp died at the Soldier's Home in Saltel, California, on February 12, 1907, shortly after he was elected to the Los Angeles County Court as a judge. He was 93 years old. He had outlived six of his ten children. During Nicholas's first marriage to Abigail Storm, they had two children, Newton Jasper Earp and Martha Ann Earp. In the second marriage, that's where they had the children James Cooksey Earp, Virginia Walter Earp, Martha Elizabeth Earp, Wyatt Barry Stapp Earp, Morgan Seth Earp, Baxter Warren Earp, Virginia Ann Earp, and Adelia Douglas Earp. Those were with the wife of Virginia Ann Cooksey. His third wife was Ann Elizabeth Cat. I have done several videos on the Earp family. In video number 34, I did Morgan Earp's gravesite in Colton, California. In video number 68, I did Warren Earp's gravesite in Wilcox, Arizona. James Earp's gravesite was done in video number 71, and alongside his grave, I talked about his sister Adelia and Virgil's wife Allie that are buried right with him uh, at his gravesite. In number 78 of my videos, I did Virginia Cooksey Earp, the mother of Wyatt, and beside her is James Earp's wife, Bessie. In a number 95, I did a video on Maddie Earp's gravesite out near uh, Globe, Arizona, where she is laid to rest. She was one of Wyatt's wives. And number 119, I did Wyatt Earp's Oriental Saloon in Tombstone, Arizona. Now, I have been to Wyatt Earp's grave in Colma, California three times thus far in my life. I have not done a video on it as of yet. I will do that in the near future. Uh, when I was there before, I was uh, it was before my YouTube channel had started. I also do have intentions this year, 2019, to visit Virgil Earp's grave in Portland, Oregon. And here I am. This is uh, video number 130, and I have come back to Nicholas Earp's grave. I have been here before also, but again, it was before I had my YouTube channel. So today I am here to pay my respects to a veteran of the uh, Union Army, fought for the United States against Mexico in that war back in the 1830s. He is a veteran of the United States military, which is why he is laid to rest here at Los Angeles National Cemetery. And uh, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please feel free to share it with your friends. 
I thank you very much uh, for watching this video and for watching all my videos. Thank you to all my new subscribers. It is very much appreciated. Please ring the notification bell to be alerted for future videos when I upload those. And thank you again from the bottom of my heart. It is much appreciated. And adios, amigos.